going on guys? Hello. So in our last vlog, something weird happened. Yeah, the cabinet behind us, I guess it opened by itself and we didn't actually notice it. Uh, not in editing, Yeah. not when we filmed it. You guys pointed yeah, it out. Yeah, so when we uploaded it, people were like, did the cabinet just open? And sure enough, it did. So it was kind of weird. Um, we have a lot of cats, which would be the logical explanation. Uh, but it was just, it was like really strange. We didn't see happen. any cats in the video. Yeah. And like, I mean, it could have been a cat, but it was weird the way that it opened. Like it opened like there was a lot of strength behind it. Yeah. And like not like a cat. kind of sleep all day. And like Nikki said, like when they're up, they're around. And like, we would have seen, right I think now. we would have seen them like walking back and forth in the video. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. It was, it was strange. And I'll put a link in the description below in an annotation and you guys can click over to the video and comment below with what you think it is in the video. But it was just kind of weird. And we have had a couple other things happen in this house before that were kind of unexplained. Yeah. And in the comments, people were asking us to talk about them and to, you know, tell you guys what happened. Yeah. So we thought we would sit down and, and tell our little paranormal stories in this video. So I just wanted to say we've never felt scared. We never felt like we're in danger or anything like that. No. It's a little creepy in the fact that it's unknown and it's kind of like, whoa, what just happened? But <laughs> as you can see, Sorry, like, you're like, like, yeah, talking about me. All our animals are comfortable. You yeah. know, they say that animals are very in tune to energy and if there was like anything bad, they, you know, the animals would feel uneasy and we've never felt uneasy. We think if someone's here, it's Uncle Roger, it's our family who we loved very, very much. Yeah. And um, a very long time. And Roger lived here for a really long time um, and he raised his family in this house. Uh, they all lived here. Uh, but yeah, like Nikki said, there's just been like some odd stuff. Uh, like t once I was sitting in the living room and the lamp just turned off, which, you know, it was like, they're old lamps, everything was kind of weird. Uh, but I was just like, oh, okay, well, guess I'll just go to bed. And then- The lights have turned on and off by themselves a lot. <laughs> yeah, another time the, the lamp turned off and then the TV turned off like within probably five seconds of each other when I was sitting there. And I was just kind of like, again, I was like, oh, well, oh, going to bed, but it was, I don't know, it was it was strange, you know, for it to happen like that to me. Yeah, we were just kind of like, okay, so the TV has turned on and off by itself a lot of times too. Yeah, I was Once watching- at like three in the morning, the TV just randomly turned on, which we, we, we thought maybe a cat jumped on the remote or something like that, but still, it was just, <laughs> well, it was a little there, awkward. There was a time where the TV turned off on me and I know a cat didn't jump on the remote and that yeah. was kind of strange. I was watching a movie in the living room here and the TV turned off twice when yeah. I was watching the movie. And I mean, it's, it's an I, older TV. So that's what we're trying to do. Maybe it's yeah. an older TV, yeah. but everything put together, who knows. This, I cannot explain. So this is kind of the, the icing on the cake for me. One time Iris and I were home alone and we were sitting in the living room and all of a sudden Iris starts looking at the corner and she was waving at it. There was nothing there and she was going, hi, hi, yeah. <laughs> hi. And I thought that John maybe came home. So I, I came out and I looked around the corner. I'm like, John, John. And no one was there. Yeah. John wasn't I'm home. Back in the cabinet, see what's gonna happen. I know. I'm like, what if it opens again? When yeah, and I mean, I'm, I'm like a kind of like a skeptical, what? more of the skeptical side of this, where Nikki is like, it could be, and I just, like, I don't know. It's, well, it's weird stuff. We but. don't know what happens. We don't yeah. know the rules. Maybe, it, maybe like he can come in and visit and go to heaven and come back anytime that he wants. But he was an amazing person. Like, just so funny. Or he it's was just in our electronics or animals or cats or things like that. But. I, I well, mean, what was Iris waving to? Yeah, I don't know. It's 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 strange. De I definitely have never like it's never happened to like those things have never happened to me elsewhere. Uh, in, well, one that one time at the cabin that we were staying at in Lake Arrowhead. Yeah, that was strange too. But you can check out that vlog if you want. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just it's so you know. I was like <laughs> for that to happen in a video, I was totally like man. But a lot of you guys knew Uncle Roger too because he was in our vlogs before yeah. he passed. A and wonderful man. We I, miss him very yeah, much. We miss him so much. We love him. What I think the reason he could be checking in on us is because he died right before Iris was born. 
and um, when he was yeah. still alive, he was so happy for us and so excited for us, and he couldn't wait to meet Iris. And then unfortunately, he found out that he had cancer and he went very quickly. And so I'm kind of wondering if, you know, he maybe he stuck around to, you know, keep it like look over us and be like a guardian angel for us because yeah. um, unfortunately he passed and he didn't get to meet Iris before she was born. Yeah. But I mean, maybe he, you know, has met her as a spirit, but. Um, yeah. And so I don't know. I mean, that's, for us. that's the story. Uh, behind the cabinet opening in our video, but we just wanted to sit down and like share all the information and our thoughts about it because it was totally weird for us. Um, yeah, when I watched yeah. the video, I was like, huh. Again, logical explanation, cat, but we like, I went back and watched the video uh, in editing and took the sound out and stuff like that, and we can upload just that small portion too. I uh, think about doing it on our Facebook page, but it's weird because there's really like, there, and there's no sound, like, there's not a cat landing like a poof, like you would hear. Uh, and that, like, to me, I was like, hmm, all right, well, we'll just Who chalk knows? that one up as strange. Um, we but yeah. love Roger. It wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't be so bad if he was still <laughs> He's the kind of guy that would definitely us. haunt somebody. Like, <laughs> gotcha. But a nice, I don't like the word haunt. Yeah. I like, like, well, watching like a, over. Yeah, like, but he would play out. around. Like, yeah. he was a practical Joyful, jokester. Playful. Like Casper the Ghost type of. Yeah, fr ghost. Uh, the friendly ghost. Yeah. You know, he would just, like, play with us a little bit, you know, like, because the movie I was watching, I was watching kind of a scary movie. I was watching the Carrie remake hmm. on Halloween, yeah. and the TV just turned off, and I'm like, what the? And I turned it back on, and then, like, ten minutes later, it turned off again. Yeah. So he could have been like, oh, gotcha. I knew it wouldn't scare you too bad, but yeah. I was just teasing you a little bit. Yeah, so... Anyways, uh, tell them about the Bobcat that you saw because some people have also been asking about that. Oh, yeah, John briefly mentioned that I saw a Bobcat in our yard. I mean, yeah, I was just going out to well, the car. Yeah, I was outside and like an acorn fell off a tree and landed next to me and I was like, oh! Yeah, so I, mean, um, I was going to the car the other day and I walked outside, I walked out our fence here and there's just a Bobcat in our driveway yeah. and I was like, meow, and then he ran away from me. <laughs> Yeah. I wanted to pet him. Yeah, it's probably like 35, 40 pounds. I think it's probably the same one that our neighbors have seen mm. in the past. He just looked like, he, you know, he was more afraid of me than I, I mean, yeah, yeah than I was of him. Um, people say, like, don't go around petting bobcats, but I thought he was cute. It's a good piece of advice. <laughs> Speaking of bobcats. Mr. Beanbirds. This is Simon. Yeah. He is, uh, I mean, so, like, I don't know, maybe he opened up the cabinet, but... Yeah, I don't know. We don't know. Weird. We don't know. Uh, well, guys, that was um, our stories, our yeah. paranormal, the paranormal things that yeah. happened so in our house. Yeah, so pay attention to the backgrounds of our vlogs because it's crazy. Sometimes we may not, might not catch something uh, that you guys might like you did in the last video. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Hmm. Thanks for watching, guys. Toodles.